Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos and welcome to Mass Effect 3 from the Legendary Edition. So if you've never watched one of my playthroughs before, I like to play single player story focused games where we can take our time, go a bit slower and focus on the story, the characters, the narrative, the lore and all that good stuff. So. Uh, if I sound like someone you want to maybe come along on the rest of the Mass Effect journey with, then I hope you join me for Mass Effect 3. So, um, if you haven't already, maybe check out my Mass Effect 1 and 2 playthroughs, which, uh, which I've done back to back, and we're carrying on with the trilogy here. So, now I'm just going to carry on talking as if you've watched the other two playthroughs and are moving into Mass Effect 3. So, it uh, looks like we're in the... We're at the war table here. It looks like That's what it looks like, guys. looks like it's going to going to be all out war here so um, I actually haven't low, uh, just checked the intro of the game out like I did for the other two to see how it ran I'm going to go in just completely blind click new game trust that everything is captured normally I hope and uh, but before we get started I think it's time for some predictions I guess uh, how I think this might go what I would like to see happen or change or be different in this game so uh, I think in terms of the way the, the overarching plot could go here, I think that there's like three ways that I think that this could go. I think um, the way that I would like this to go, the way that like the kind of twist I would, not twist, but the, the path I would like this to take would be that we maybe find out we, we get on the on the track or on the path of the the origin of the Reapers, that we that we learn something about their past, about how they were created, and we use that to find a way to defeat them in a more kind of backdoor infiltration kind of way. Um, that's why I, I, th I think I think that would be really cool, mostly because you know I I, I love it, it listening about artificial intelligence and how it's created and consciousness and stuff uh, and I'd love to delve into the Reaper's backstory. Uh, the other way I feel like it could go and the, the way I feel like it's likely to go is that we're trying to wage a war while also being like not trusted by the council and the council races after what happened in the arrival mission and blowing up that whole star system. So I think that would mean we're going to be spending some time in the game uh, recruiting allies to stage like a huge legitimate war against the Reapers. So, you know, I'm thinking we maybe have to get help from people outside of the council. So I'm thinking like the Quarians, the Geth now, and maybe even the Rachni because we know that the Rachni were manipulated by the Reapers and it led to their almost extinction. Obviously, humanity. Uh, it seems like from this beginning uh, menu window here with the Alliance logo there that we actually might be back with the Alliance. So that, that's my prediction for the other way. And then my left field prediction. Uh, I don't know how correct this is, but we're in the Milky Way galaxy, right? So, like, all of this is taking place in the Milky Way. I could be wrong about that. But this whole galaxy. So there are other galaxies beyond this in the universe, right? Um, so, I'm not sure how right or wrong I am about this, but... So does that mean that there would be other completely separate galaxies? And if that's the case, maybe there would be some help that we'd get from somewhere else because maybe the reapers are only focused on the milky way so maybe there'd be some kind of outside help from another galaxy or maybe the reapers are like the overseers of the whole universe and not just this galaxy i don't know if i've got like my star my space terms mixed up and this is the universe the whole universe that we explore but i'm pretty sure it's just the milky way but yeah things that are, i know this is a long intro but you know we're about to start the final chapter here so, um, things that I'd like to see um, from this... Oh, wait a minute. Predictions? I don't know. In terms of characters, I mean... I've, so, from what you guys tell me, a lot of different characters can die in the Mass Effect 2 final mission. 
So uh, obviously, I think we're going to be we're, we're going to get some new characters because they have to account for the possibility that you know a lot of your squad died if you're carrying a, a save over. Um, I think certain characters will be less likely to be helping us. You know, maybe the two Cerberus personnel. So Miranda and Jacob might still be with Cerberus, although Miranda did support what we did in terms of blowing up the collector base. So maybe she'd be willing to help. I think they might still be with Cerberus, so they might be out of the equation. Um, obviously Thane, I don't know what the timeline is here. So with Thane's illness, he might not be around anymore. Mordin might have gone back to help because he maybe because he's with the council races, maybe uh, he wouldn't be. So maybe we won't have any mm, Asari or Turians. Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not sure. So I'm not sure which characters will still be available here, or maybe the ones that survived might play peripheral roles. You know, similar to like Ashley and Liara were in the second. Were in the second game. Um. I'd love it if we could have Mordin back, please. Pretty please. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know if we're going to get another whole different cast of characters. Uh, I would like, so uh, I hope that there's, I, hope, I pray to a god I don't believe in that there's no more planet scanning. <laughs> please, please no. <laughs> uh, but I like the other mini games in the second game. So I imagine the gameplay will get a few new wrinkles, which I'm looking forward to. Um, the other thing I want, I would like, is our squad to interact with each other more. Uh, I don't want it to just be us talk to them and then it's almost as if they exist separate from each other and they never even acknowledge each other except for a few arguments. I'd really like it to feel like more of a team where everyone, you know, bounces off each other a bit and it's not just us. Uh, I really hope Legion is still around. I'm praying that we get to keep our guest squad mate. But, um... Yeah, that that's pretty much that's pretty much what I'd like. That's, those are my predictions on the kind of main bit of the story. Um, obviously, we know that after after the arrival mission, we need to answer to the uh, like alliance hierarchy or the Earth Earth's government to explain ourselves at some point. Uh, but I don't know how much time is going to have passed. The Reapers are slowly making their way over, and I think it was predicted that that could take between six to twelve months. So this this probably picks up right after arrival. So, right, that is another long intro. I'm sorry, but you know we got to get the predictions out. Come on now. Right, we're going. We're going to import, dear Amanita. Um, yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah, um, I, was, uh, I, I tried to finish off some planet scan in 66 hours, Jesus. All right, look, we've got a checklist here. Save the Rat Knight Queen, rescued Ashley Williams, chose to save the council, saved Maitland's data, kept Rex alive, re rewrote the Geth heretics, destroyed the collector base, survived the suicide mission with 12 squad mates. <laughs> Romance the Ara before Mass Effect 2. It didn't roman romance anyone in Mass Effect 2, so it doesn't count the DLC. Interesting. Okay, so uh, in terms of... <laughs> I tried to get the 70... Like, what have you recommended? Like, I don't have to go too crazy with the planet scanning materials, so I kept... And you advised that I have 200k in Iridium, Palladium, and Platinum, and then 75k Ezo. I got the 200ks, but I couldn't find enough Ezo, and I was losing my mind scanning. And I was like, I just want to play Mass Effect 3, leave me alone. So uh, we're going to import this character. Oh, we look, uh, we look angry. We look a bit different, right? Uh, I don't think that there'll be anything else we can change. God. It's... Uh, I can't remember where I saw it. I just saw a clip of someone playing the first game. Um, you know, the intro. And they, they had the default appearance. And then I heard Shepard's voice. And it sounded so wrong out of that face. <laughs> it just sounded so wrong. Um, Yeah, we look a little different, right? I've still got the code. I don't think we can do scars anymore. I'm just going to check for diff for hair hairstyles.
I still want. I still feel like I should have done gone for the the, the uh, bright red hair in the first game. But there's no different hair colors, so that means there's probably not different hairstyles. They're all the same, right? Oh, they've got like a that's like a two tone. But all the hairstyles are the same. We will not be changing that. Uh, the scars were only in Mass Effect 1, so... Alright guys, I'm going to accept the imported face. Okay, uh, I'm going to stick with Engineer. I mean, um, I'm not going to mess with our backstory too much, but these are the same as the second game. So Engineer is the tech specialist, the most effective class at disabling the defenses of the toughest enemies or incapacitating them to render them harmless. In combination with their weapons training, Engineers have the unique ability to spawn combat drones that can harass enemies or force them out of entrenched cover positions. Alright, let's check out the new powers. Overload, oh it's the same. Oh, Sentry Turret. And Sabotage. Did we have Sabotage? Incinerate oh, Overload, yeah. Cryoblast Combat Drone. What was the other ability that I didn't... Oh, we had AI Hacking. We've not got AI Hacking this time. So, Sabotage and Sentry Turret are new. Okay, so I like that. I, I, I would have liked some more abilities. Okay, cool. Right, we're going to stick with Engineer. Just for the... Just for the sake of roleplay. Okay, we still look the same. I'm Anita Shepard, Earthborn Soul Survivor. Engineer. Yep, let's do it. Okay, I've not seen this, keep in mind, so... I'm going to have to try and read the thing again. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. Oh, There's what? something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. That's Earth. In 2157, humanity discovered it was not alone in the universe. 30 years later, they found a peaceful place among dozens of galactic species, but this idyllic future is overshadowed by a dark past. Reapers, a sentient race of machines responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life every 50,000 years, are about to return. The leaders of the galaxy are paralyzed by indecision, unable to accept the legend of the Reapers as fact. But one soldier has seen the legend come to life, and now the fate of the galaxy depends on her. Hey, we did it! <laughs> Oh. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. Okay, so looks like we've been stripped of our rank. And we're maybe awaiting trial. Yeah, we should have been more prepared. You know we're not ready if it is them, not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You've faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. 
They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That way they grounded me, took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Okay, looks like he's a squad mate. <laughs> Shepard. Ashley? What? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. <sighs> Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. Okay, what has happened to Ashley? <laughs> right, don't worry about it. I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, I guess I did. Still, good to see you. Admiral. Come on. Was it Lieutenant Commander? Fair enough. You know the Commander? I used to. Ashley's been shot with the makeup gun. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Wow, Whatever really? this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? We can't. This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. Yeah, we need to be united. If we're going to have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? What? They couldn't be that close already. How'd they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. Are you serious? Oh my god, Earth is toast. Okay, I wasn't expecting it this quick, man. Oh, what? Why haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. It's already over, dude. This a dream. This must be a dream. Shepard! 
This must be a dream. Shepard! Shepard! Come on, get up. Here, take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. We report it anyway. Lieutenant Commander Williams, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the normal. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. Dude, this is over. <laughs> Got no chance. They're massive. Come on, Chuck. Ashley is headed to the Norman. They'll pick us up if we can get to the space. Let's move. Look at Anderson's run. <laughs> How do you stop something so powerful? How are we gonna? What are we gonna need Take to shoot here? It's farther than it looks. Let's go. Oh my god. This is over. Earth is. Uh, what are those things? Have they got little fighters? Come on. We'll have to go this way. Looks clear. Let's go. Okay, okay. Who's Controls. I don't me? like. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with me. Husks! Take him out! Yeah, Earth is gone then. Shoot him! I'm out oh, of wait. ammo! Wait, I didn't set the difficulty, did I? I didn't set the difficulty. Oh. Sorry, guys. Oh, wait. Casual, normal. They taken out. Wait. Oh. So wait. Is normal hard now? Well, this is the baseline. Exp oh, for God's sake! Baseline experience. Subtitles off. What the hell? I thought I'd done this already. Sorry. Uh, you guys will have to let me know. Ah! Have to take these things out the old fashioned way. Uh oh. Don't let him grab you. Okay, this is feeling pretty cinematic so far. Got no ammo though. Gotta find a way out of here. Now oh, we get experience instead when the, when we're full up. Watch it. Can we crawl? No. We've only got a pistol. Come on, Anderson. Sometime today, mate. I'm calling it, man. I think Anderson's going to snuff it here. Hey. It's okay. Kid. Everyone's dying. Come on, come on, come on. to get you someplace safe. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Will we be hallucinating? Maybe. Ah, this is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. Try everyone, I won't mate. Be responsible. 
It's hard enough fighting a war, but it's worse knowing no matter how hard you try, you can't save them all. Exactly. They get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. <sighs> you sure about that? No. Nope. No, but you're a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. <laughs> Grab some ammo. Yes, yes, yes. Reload. Let's keep moving. God. Oh. Lieutenant Commander Williams, we're inside of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. We've made it to the Normandy, taking heavy fire. Oh, God. Hang on, Ash. They're going to take down that dreadnought. Invasive maneuvers. Lieutenant Commander, Ashley. Damn it, they're in trouble. What was that? The Normandy? Or was that the Dreadnought? Normandy. We're going to reroute. Do you copy? Normandy, come in. Friendlies. You two all right? Get down. They'll see you. Oh, what? Keep your head down. Nice shot. Finish them all. Shepard, over here. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No, there's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on, let's get to that gunship. All right. Man, they've got the all they've got all kinds of new creatures. Come on, Ava. I haven't set up the, sh the shortcuts yet on my keyboard and uh, on my mouse. Even. Anderson, where the hell are we going again? Nice. Shepard, over here. I found a radio. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship at the harbor. 
I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Lieutenant! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Come on, Ava. On shields. Hope they get there soon. You and me both. Ava, come on. Nearly snuffed it then. Cavalry has arrived. Nice Joker. right at least no 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 welcome back Shepard Anderson Thanks. come on now Shepard You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. Right, well, I'll help We're then. We're in this fight together, Anderson. It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. Oh. <laughs> All right. I mean, how long are they going to be able to survive, man? I mean, maybe I've perhaps overestimated the speed at which the Reapers can exterminate, right? Anderson on one of those.
Wow, that's really taken me by surprise. Cause I just, I expect, I, mean, I expected kind of something like this, just not immediately. Well, so who have we got on board? What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. Yeah, he just did, mate. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot, because I'm not... Stop it, Lieutenant! You don't want to go. We get it. But this isn't a democracy. We're going to the Citadel. You want out? You can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Yeah, we just Joker. gotta go, man. That you? Alive gotta go. Chicken. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard. Sustained heavy losses. The Lord's force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find our post on Mars. Before we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with Dr. Tassoni. Right. We found a way to stop the Reapers. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Hmm. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. Our uh, character model looks different. I can't put my finger on it. This Am is I... local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know. Yet. It helps us win this war. Grab your gear. You would have thought they would have taken places a place like this out before they got to Earth, right? I've been trying to reach Mars on secure channels. No one's answering. Any sign of Reaper activity? Negative. Edie? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. We're almost there. Okay. Ashley and Captain... Captain Terrible Tattoos. Uh, James. I got the blue... Th I picked blue completely by coincidence, but it seems to match everything. <laughs> Okay. Understood. Look at the size of this guy, he's an honorary Krogan. Level 31? Oh, what? I did not know it would be like this. Okay, because so this is how we finish the game, obviously. Uh, be an expert tactician, yeah, faster and stronger tech powers, more dexterity, more charisma, fitness, more melee damage, more health, more shields and barriers. Deploy this heavy weapon turret for cover fire. Okay. Oh, it's sabotage, and okay, this replaces hack. Okay. Um. 
Okay, the Paragon Renegade thing has changed. Right? Now it's like a, an overall bar. Interesting. Okay. Um, Ashley, okay, so we've expanded, but they're still on... Oh no, they've got an, one extra, extra skill. Look at the size of this guy. Um... Okay, fortification, reinforced armor, sentry ammo, cartridge, arms master. Um, can we see their loadouts? Uh, <laughs> concussive shot, marksman. An alliance officer. Okay, so I think he's a shotgunner then, right? Okay, so we've got 25 bloody points, so should we... Just max out our tech mastery here? And put a couple into fitness, maybe? And, and set... So let's just... Okay, this is confusing. Okay. Okay, so at the minute, get reputation bonuses, power damage bonus, weight capacity bonus. So you guys, one of you guys told me about our guns uh, affect cooldowns. Right, I'd rather have the reputation bonus here. Increase the force and damage of squad mate powers by 30%. Power damage and weight capacity. Power damage and power duration. Increase combat drone and sentry turret shields by 100%. Increase combat drone and sentry turrets damage by 50%. Can we double these up? Okay. This is difficult. That is really tempting. I think this weight capacity thing will be useful to max out, so... Um So at the minute Yeah, that was the AoE. Uh I don't I, I don't want to waste too much time doing this at the right at the beginning. But we're obviously going to get into a fight here at some point. Right, let's just pick up the first few levels of this. Before we move on to that. Same for you, buddy boy. Uh, concussive shot, marksman. Okay. I think concussive shot should be the bread and butter. Yep. Same for James. Yep, I'm fine with that. Yep, tank him up a bit. Uh, let's pick up level one of everything. Alright. Okay, Ash, disruptor ammo. Yep. Um.
Health and shield, weapon damage. Decrease shield recharge delay, power damage. Squad mate health and shields. Health and shield, melee damage. I think we just go full tank. The squad mate thing, I don't think so. 40% though, that's pretty significant. Wait, why? What? Oh, because it's already on a 30% boost. Okay. I mean, if we do this, then we need to go be decide. Yeah, if we do, if we go that route, I think we need to go this top route here. Yeah, I'm not too interested in the melee damage, so what I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to go weapon damage. And then on fortification, we'll increase his damage protection. Yeah, I'm happy with that for now. Um, weapon damage or health and shield. Power damage, sniper rifles, assault rifles squad mates okay so I think we go weapon damage sniper rifle mm, I don't know if we do both I don't she's not much of a sniper but she is here it seems impact radius no I think we go force and damage easy recharge speed frozen targets nah Oh, that might be a combination thing, right? Yeah, because you can combo stuff in this game, right? You guys told me. Damage to organics by 100% over 10 seconds increases force. Hmm. Uh, there, that could be useful. It's pretty minimal though, like a one and a half seconds increase, so... Power concussive shot with the properties of the active ammo power enabling it to burn freeze. Wait. Disruptor ammo. Incendiary ammo. We've got cryoblast. Uh, let's just pick up the, the base turret first. Base fitness. Right, so that leaves us with 18 points. I think we take this power damage bonus. Because that benefits this stuff as well, in a way, I think. Incinerate's like our main power. Recharge speed, damage, all day. Increase damage to frozen targets, increase damage to armored targets. How often are we going to be freezing things? Uh, I do like the combat drone. Damage and shields, short range attack, stun as enemies. Pulse, long range rockets. Ooh, with long range rockets that deal damage. Upgrades it. Okay, so it can still do that, right? I just don't know if it can stun. No, no, it can still stun. So I don't think we get this. I think we, we upgrade its damage and shields. Yeah. And then I, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. As is. Um, yeah, I think we're going to Alliance Officer here. She's more backline, yeah, so I think weapon damage is better. 
Uh, I'm not sure with that just yet, so I might save those points. Yeah, I'm just going to save these points. Okay, guys. Right, sorry, and sorry, the other thing I just need to do, because like I said, I came in blind, I didn't necessarily change a lot of these. So, quick slot one. We want you. Quick slot two, I want you. Quick slot two. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, what? Mouse wheel click has a an input now. Quick, my one bind cover turn. What does cover turn mean? I don't know what that means then. Fair enough. Right, right, right. That's enough of that. Okay, so I won... One incinerate there and overload on two. I don't want anything I'm going to regularly use far back. Yep. And I'll f I'm gonna I'll have to figure out the squad's ammo another time. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I know we've got codex entries to read, guys, but we'll do that when we're at a slightly more peaceful stage, if that's imaginable. Damn, that's a huge storm. Looks a lot bigger in person. Come on, Lieutenant, it's not that bad. Doesn't mean it can't kill us. I'm more worried about the war back on Earth, or the fact that nobody here is reporting in. Fair all right, you, you guys told me about that. Press V for those. They're not like cutscenes, but they just redirect your view. It's just because it's on V, it's just a bit far away from my little hands. No, we got dead soldiers. What's that? Alliance, Sergeant Reeves. Doesn't look like he put up a fight. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. Roger that. Weapon unlocked, M92 Mantis. Sure, let's change it. Predator. Wait, we can use sniper rifles now. Okay, so... Power recharge speed is at 200%. If we put this gun in, it increases our cooldowns. But if I get rid of this, what about that? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, okay. So I could get rid of the sh uh, submachine gun to try and balance that out a bit. Um. Oh right. Okay. I don't want the sniper rifle. I think that's overkill for my build, and that's not too big of a yeah. Right. You've got James. You've got a shotgun and an assault rifle. Oh, sorry, that's Ash. This is James. He's got sniper rifle. Wait, what? No, this is James. This is Ashley. Okay. Uh, uh yeah, I'm fine with that. I much prefer the assault rifles. Oh, we got a dodge roll. Double tap. What? Holy shit. They're executing them. 
They've been brainwashed. Assault Trooper? Who are these guys? Okay, they've been brainwashed. Those guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Yes. What? Like it. What's Cerberus doing here on Mars? Good no question. way. You don't know? I'm not with them anymore, Ash, if that's what you're asking. It no wasn't. way. But you have to admit, it's a bit convenient. Cerberus? Maybe they think they're serving humanity or something now, right? Do we really have time to be killing more humans? Come on, buddy. So did they say Liara's actually here? Alright, first episode can be a little longer than an hour. That's fair enough. I need a straight answer, Shepard. About what? Do you know anything about this? What is Cerberus doing here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You worked for them. How am I supposed to believe you've cut all ties? It's a temporary alliance. It was, even. We joined forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. They rebuilt you from scratch. They gave you a ship, resources... Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. I just... Yeah, you're a straight arrow, I get it. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Ash. What? That's not what I clicked, is it? I guess it was a variant Please of it. Please trust me. I do. It's just that. I wonder if we run into Miranda. That'd be interesting, right? There's Liara. Come on. Come on, Shadow Broker. Nice. <laughs> Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. Yes, yeah, she is. Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. You too, Liara. I was so worried when the reports came in. I'm sorry about Earth. Yeah, it was 
difficult to leave. Ashley, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Packet ordered us to come. Said you know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here? Really? On Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. How have we only just found this? We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a shadow broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you, but... It's alright. I miss you too, Liara, but you had important things to do, I understand. I would have liked that. But under the circumstances, I think I can forgive you. You're too kind. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Um, are you sure this is gonna work? I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. Right. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers... ...just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. That's why Cerberus want it. We got company. Bring it on. Come on, four-man squad. Come time, on. James. What? Oh. Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But orders, you idiot. Jesus. Now, Lieutenant. What is he questioning my command for? Or every time? Go lift some weights. <laughs> we should take cover. Looks like they found us. Who's singularity power? Not a problem for someone with biotics. You can't hide forever. Oh, he he, do he dodge rolled. You're going to need more than guns to finish them, Shepard. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try and get off Mars. Not get off Mars, get the blueprints first. How many times am I going to do that? They've sabotaged the elevator. Look for another way up. This is a secure station. How did Cerberus get in? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful. But I suppose anything's possible. Don't think I missed anything? Okay, that, uh, that's just a double tap, yeah? No, it's just a single tap. I 
Okay, through we go. Interesting. So the Protheans. Oh! Oh! Hey! I'm dead. Tried to spray and pray. I'm going to have to get used to this dodge roll, man. This isn't the kind of thing I like. I I'm good with on the mouse and keyboard, man. I'm warning you. Nice. Anything on these computers? No. Yeah. All right. We'll need access to the pedway. Controls should be nearby. Got you. Ariake Technologies Gauntlet. Sure. New armor. Hacking minigame introduction, anyone? Hmm, that's odd. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. What's a pedway? I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Hey, did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Miranda? Dr. Ivacore. Oh. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We the can storm, find a way though. around from there. Great. Let's move. Doctor Corey. I know I've seen the level up, but... What the hell? Looks like the Alliance is still putting up a fight. That tram heads to the archives. Once Cerberus is across, they're at the final security checkpoint. And that's where we're headed. I'm pressing M for map. Not that button. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I need to try out the turret as well, right? This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced. No, you have to override security protocols. Let's go, ladies. Oh, nice torch. I like this. Someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. Looks like they died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal. Even by server standards. Hmm. From Show Den to Cameron Harrison. Cam, who the hell is that woman messing in my files? Get her out of here. I won't have my system messed up by some wannabe expert who'll be gone next week. Damn strangers who think they know it all but don't care about what we're really trying to achieve here. Dr. Ava, seriously? Don't you remember what happened last time? S. Okay, maybe she's... Uh, someone they don't trust who's worked here before, made a mistake, cost them something.
It's dark in there. Want me to shut the windows? No, not unless you want to decompress this room too. I don't want to. There's the turret. Shoot him. Got him. Nice job, turret. We need a name for the turret now. Oh, got so many little companions. We need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Hey, looks like there's a recording of what happened here. Hmm. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as... Oh. It was her. I thought she was going to be a squad mate for a minute. Col what was it? Cerberus got in. Coley. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. That's all right. Mistakes. Well, yeah. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Hmm. Liara. That's a good point. I know. I shouldn't think that way. It's I don't know how possible. you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. Well, I think about saving you, Liara, and then it all makes sense. When there's so much at stake, I think about my friends. Loved ones. What I'd lose if I failed. Me too. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. I believe you. Or I believe that you believe. Maybe that's enough. <laughs> Ashley's just turned away. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Sorry, third wheel there, Ashley. Uh, reading and stuff we'll, we'll try and catch up with. You know, it just feels like we need to progress through quite a bit here. Weapons bench. Okay, loadouts again. Um, she's got submachine guns and heavy pistols. She can't take anything else. So we, should, we could get rid of this then. Honestly, I'll never use it. I'll try it for now. Uh, so, a reliable, accurate sidearm manufactured by Alanis Risk Control. The Predator is valued as a powerful, deadly, and relatively inexpensive weapon. While it's not generally deployed in the military, it's still very popular in the Terminus systems. The M8 Avenger. The Avenger is a common, versatile, military-grade assault rifle manufactured by Elcos Combine. It's accurate when fired in short bursts and deadly when fired on full auto. The modular design and inexpensive components of the Avenger make it a favourite of many military groups and mercenaries alike. The rifle has a reputation for being tough, reliable, easy to use, and easy to upgrade. Uh, buffed our research time. Okay. Uh, SMG Ultra Light. Oh, right, because we're going to need to make the, the weapons lighter throughout. M Amelia Hatterson to Michael Sullivan. Hey, stupid head, I won't ask, you, ask how you're doing since I heard you guys are propagating germs in the shape of a cold down there in storage. Look, I know your Prothean doodads are fascinating and all, but you guys have got to stop burning the midnight oil and oil and keep regular sleeping hours honestly anyway i forwarded your last latest findings to hq on, on earth and someone is depressurizing the area warn security and that's when cerberus got in
They got shields. Okay, maybe that's why I should have kept the SMG. We need him to turn around. There's one more, right? Nope. Maybe. That's for breaking my TV, bro. Oh, really? Go on over. Now they've got they've deployed a smoke grenade of some kind. Oh, I've not leveled up the Ara, have I? I'll do that in a second. smoke grenades right, so we've got to get let these guys progress a little bit right and then use the Li Liara's ability on them Yeah, they've got smoke grenades, dude. That's awesome. Oh, we dodged it, man. I hate that. <laughs> Great. Oh, maybe I should have just used Overload on the shield bearers. Stop throwing smoke, you spammers. Centurions. We're really low on ammo. What's that smell? They just activated the decontamination protocols. With the staff still inside. Uh, okay, okay, okay. What? We're in like an hour twenty. Right, the aura. Um. Right, let's let's just get these up. Let's give her all her abilities. Uh, 
And she's a biotic, so I think we put a decent amount of points into Singularity and Warp. Right? Um, let's have a look how these go. Recharge or Health and Shield. Uh, I think because she's going to be using her abilities a lot, that's probably the way to go. Weapon damage, power and force duration, uh, recharge singularity, recharge speed of all the squad mate biotic powers. No, I think I'd go for that one. Health and shield bonus, power recharge speed bonus. Um, Okay, so that doesn't do any damage, does it? So, warp does damage. Uh, increase force damage and impact radius of combo detonations. Okay. Mm, I just feel like base damage is better, man. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. And then we'll buff... Yeah, I think it's tricky. Yeah, I think we got the recharge speed here because they're really powerful. Shotgun, high caliber barrel. Okay, so we've got like weapon mods. This is where they studied the various relics on Earth here. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. And they'd only scratched the surface. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt her. I thought she was done. Personal notes by S. Esparza. We haven't been able to decipher much, if any, of the language yet, but the visual documentation gives us some idea as to what they were studying, namely us. They seemed particularly interested in early humanity's evolutionary process. Judging by the way they organized their files and highlighted specific occasions, it seemed a bit fantastic to write this. But everything indicates they seem to be trying to chart the curve of humanity's intellectual progression. Huh. So maybe they were trying to maybe we filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. Maybe we were their contingency. Maybe they had hopes we would discover this all along and re and enact their plan. Uh, oh, how do we get through? This one? Oh, I need to stop it, okay. Great, a puzzle. Sniper rifle, extended barrel. Uh, is there something on this side? Don't quite look like it. But... Come on guys, let's try that again. Anything? No, I think that's it, we're out of here. Let's go, go, go. The tram line takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. Okay, hang on. Hold your horses. Uh, I like the armor, I must say. I like an option of like a, a slimmer armor. Got to use that now that we're going to... Oh, a katana. Nice. Uh, no one uses shotguns here, right? Oh, maybe Ashley did. No, 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 no. no. Oh, any of us can use them, right? It's just a question of balancing the weight. Alright, guys, I think what I'm going to do, because this is verging on too long, um, 
Uh, I'm going to make a hard save here, and we're going to pick it up from here in the next episode. So this caught completely blindsided me. This I, 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 I thought that we might, you know, have to fight the Reapers at some point, but um, I didn't think it would be immediately. I didn't think Earth would be Earth done basically, right? Earth is just toast. I mean, maybe I like I said, maybe I've overestimated, like how quickly the reapers would be able to destroy a world or everyone on that world so maybe it takes them a long time maybe it takes them years to what cleanse the galaxy like this so maybe we have hope after all so we'll pick it up from here next time We've got liara and ashley with us and i hope you enjoyed the beginning of mass effect 3 as much as i did guys leave me a like please if you enjoyed it this is the first episode in the series i should have said this at the beginning but please um leave a like on this first episode in particular just so that it gets maybe gets shared a bit more so people can share in mass effect with us and uh, we'll pick it up from here next time all right just remember everyone never trust an on crate i'll see you next time